Welcome dear audience, students and scholars. Here I am Dr. Ramjad Ali, dear scholars. So far as we have discussed about uh, fixed exchange rate, flexible exchange rate and international interest rate differentials. In this video we are going to discuss about a case study related to international financial crisis Mexico 1994-1995. In August 1994, a Mexican peso was worth 30 cents. A year later, it was worth only 16 cents. So here we have one of the main questions to discuss that what explains this massive fall in the value of the Mexican currency and the country risk is a large part of this whole story. At the beginning of 1994, Mexico was a country on the rise. The recent passage of the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, which reduced trade barriers among the United States, Canada, and Mexico, made many people confident about the future of the Mexican economy. Investors around the world were eager to make loans to the Mexican government and to Mexican corporation, but the political development soon changed that perception of uh, a uh, violent uprising campaigns have been started in different cities of Mexico and the leading presidential candidate assassination added fuel to fire and the political future looked less certain and many investors started placing a larger risk premium on Mexican asset. The rising risk premium, at first, uh, the rising risk premium did not affect the value of the peso because uh, Mexico was operating with a fixed exchange rate. Under a fixed exchange rate, the central bank agrees to trade the domestic currency pesos for uh, foreign currency dollars at a predetermined rate. Thus, when an increase in the country risk premium puts downward pressure on the value of the peso, uh, the Mexican Central Bank had to accept uh, pesos and pay out dollars. This automatic exchange market of intervention contracted the Mexican money supply, shifting the LM static curve to left. Uh, when the currency might otherwise have depreciated. Mexico's uh, foreign currency reserve, uh, yet Mexico's foreren currency reserves were too small to maintain its uh, fixed exchange rate. When Mexico ran out of dollars at the end of 1994, the Mexican government announced a devaluation of the peso. This decision uh, had repercussions, uh, however, because uh, the government had repeatedly promised that it would not devalue. Investors became even more distrustful of Mexican policymakers and feared further Mexican devaluation. The country risk premium. Investors around the world, including those in Mexico, avoided buying Mexican assets. The country risk premium rose once again, adding to the upward pressure on interest rates and the downward pressure on the peso. The Mexican stock market plummeted when the Mexican government needed to roll over some of its debt that was coming due, investors were unwilling to buy the new debt. Default appeared to be the government's only option. In just a few months, Mexico had gone from being a promising emerging economy into being a risky economy with a government uh, on the verge of bankruptcy. The role of United States. Then the United States stepped in. The US government had three motives to help its neighbor to the south to prevent the massive illegal immigration that might 
follow government default and economic collapse and to prevent the investor pessimism regarding Mexico from spreading to other developing countries. The US government uh, together with the International Monetary Fund IMF led an international effort to bail out the Mexican government. In particular, the United States provided a loan guarantees for Mexican government debt which allowed the Mexican government to refinance the uh, debt that was coming due. So these loans guarantees uh, help restore confidence in the Mexican economy thereby reducing to some extent the country risk premium. Although the US uh, 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 loan guarantees may well uh, have stopped the bad situation from getting worse, they did not prevent the Mexican uh, meltdown of 1994-1995 from being a painful experience for the Mexican people and not only did the Mexican currency uh, lose much of its value but Mexico also um, went through a deep recession fortunately by the late 90s the worst was uh, over and aggregate income was growing again but the lesson from this experience is clear and could well apply again in future changes in perceived country risk often attributable to political instability are an important determinant of interest rates and exchange rates in small open economy so this is all about international financial crisis mexico 1994 and 1995 so see you with another video ciao